Ah, so we're going to finally kind of, we're, we're going to make the rest of our way over towards um, the Misty Woods now. One thing I've been wondering is, if you had that water breathing ability during that tree falling segment, would it be okay? <laughs> no, no. Aww. Unfortunately, the, the water is instant death no matter what. So it's not water breathing then. Yeah. <laughs> not helpful for the escape section, unfortunately. Would be very nice if it uh, had been helpful, but Yeah, I would have just if if they allowed that I would I would have just waited till the tree was completely filled with water and they could just swim yeah, everywhere. Pretty much the secrets. There's a there's a secret up there as well, which yeah. I I overcomplicate trying to get, um, because you can just bash these projectiles that are being oh, wow. shot by the plants. How are you? Oh wow! Well. I I was gonna say how are you supposed to know to get that, are. but oh, I just I guess there's a way. Yeah, you can like if you can get your oops, if you can get your double jump. Jeez, uh, oh, that section of wall right there is really hard to grab onto. <laughs> um, if you can get your double jump just right, you can kind of see the hidden path disappear. <laughs> Um, new enemy! Oh, is this the final boss? No, it's a mini bird. Um. <laughs> and that guy helpfully broke the uh, the rock floor for us, so we didn't have to stomp it. Well, yeah, we just... Oh, and there's... Just so we didn't have to put in the effort yeah. of pressing a button. <laughs> there's, an, there's an instant death laser down there as well, so... Oops. Is there a... Do you got a power-up to, like... Not get hurt by that in some way. No, we're Our... we're gonna we we blocked it with the rock, and we're gonna go down there and um, <clears throat> not get hit by the laser, because what is right. what's not seen in this recording is me getting completely blindsided by the laser and uh, <laughs> getting killed by it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, right now, we're trying to get another secret, though, which hinges on doing this. Uh. Oh, do enemies respawn when you just back out a little bit? Certain ones. These ones in particular do. Um, okay, because it connects to a secret. Yeah, some enemies take a bit uh, longer, like a bit more distance to respawn. Um, they will not generally respawn while you're in the same area, uh, mm -hmm. but some enemies, you know, do because they have different uh, respawn lengths and distances. You know, despite this laser being, you know, the very definition of death, uh, you can just block it with a, a hump of. A hunk of stone, yeah. you know, that's enough. Easily, easily blocked by rock, thankfully. You know. If, if we played as a creature that had rock skin, you know, this wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I mean, if we just had stone, stone form, it would, we'd be okay. Like, yeah, it's kind of easy to do that, actually. It's to too, just become stone. Yeah, it's too bad we're not a dwarf, you know. Then we'd be or fine. the thing. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, we're back here. Yep, and we're going to go up to the left this time. Oh, we haven't been there yet? Nope. Oh, the Valley of the Wind. Yes. Now we have a bunch of dead trees. Oh. Bit uh, weird how all these dead trees are just right next to uh, that <laughs> big fancy life tree over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oof, that bird just suicided himself. Nice. Uh, so... That was totally done on purpose. So this is where we're getting water breathing. And, um, yes. this is the only time that I would say you kind of need water breathing. Uh, if you're really good at timing, you don't, but there are no air pockets between getting through all of these crushers down here. So, mm. unless you're really good at timing, you're going to run out of breath. <laughs> oh, well, was it just for that one little bit? Yeah, yeah. Jeez. You have to get back out, though. Ah. And now we have to... Uh, nope, we don't have enough time to get through there. <laughs> this particular... This particular thing 
Uh, oh, jeez. We almost got under there. Then his head almost got crushed. Or, uh, her head, rather. I don't think it's really important what the gender is. <laughs> no, but they, they call Ori a she in the story, I believe. Okay. Here we go. Finally slipped under there. That, that really seems like they should have opened that up a little bit more. Yeah, it's a it's a very tight squeeze. <laughs> like adult, it's, it's a normal person. You would think that oh they need to upgrade something to make them pass through it. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the entire reason we came down here though. So we're uh, we're gonna swim back out now. What was that thing we got? We picked up another energy cell. Oh, okay. Because we. What's the maximum of uh, energy cells you can get? We can never have enough. Um, the maximum is 15, I believe. Uh, there, are, there are 15 energy cells. Oops. Oh yeah, he suicided himself. Nice. Too. Um, and there are 12 collectible life cells because you you start with three. Yeah. So if you collect all of them, you end the game with, you know, 15 of each. Oh, dog, oh, jeez. Oh man, I think it's gross. It's best how you. Those little frog guys are really obnoxious as well. Uh, they look like that Rayman character. Yeah, there's another. <laughs> there's another variant of that enemy that. Uh, comes around a little later that is particularly annoying because they have really good aim. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, these first ones we've been seeing aren't that bad because, you know, they don't have, uh, they don't aim They don't have a well. sniper rifle. Yeah, exactly. But, as soon as we run into the next version, ugh. Nope. Is that nope, ability nope. stop time or just slow down? It's, um... I th I'm. I think the bash is a full like time stop thing. Uh, right. Because it gives you. It, give, it gives you time. Yeah, it gives you time to kind of aim where you want to launch yourself. Because um, mm -hmm. like you stop as well. Oh. Is this the uh, time manipulation thing you mentioned earlier? Uh. Sort of. I guess. I mean, there there isn't really a. I guess it depends on what you mean. Oh, sorry, I got that mixed up with gravity manipulation. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, gravity will be coming into play when we, um... When we finally make our way into the second dungeon. Another thing is with, um... There are a lot of indie games uh, out there that have... Oh, it's this the whole thing again. That have a, uh... Me gameplay mechanic to it, and then it runs with that mechanic for the entire game yeah you know but you know I, I I appreciate some games that you know have multiple ones yep the the, uh, the little gravity manipulation stuff will only be used for that one dungeon as well it's uh <laughs> really it's it's particularly there because of the um, architecture of the dungeon for, uh, it's like an MC Asher painting. Yeah, not, not quite that weird, but it's like it's lore reasons. Okay. We also did a little bit of sequence breaking for that secret there. Oh, he's pissed. Yeah, we knocked him down with a bit of rock. Uh, did, did he forget he can fly into the background? <laughs> Well, that's what he just did. He, he got annoyed by us dropping a rock on his face and uh, decided to fly off. And uh, yeah. now we're we're gonna get to pick up a feather, mm. which is our next upgrade. Oh, we now have dark powers. No, now we can float. No. Oh. <laughs> also, there are two secrets that I did not collect. Oh well. You just forgot about them at the time? Well, one of them I can't get yet, and the other one I actually did forget about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you first mentioned uh, Kuro, I thought hey, his name, I thought you meant like that delicious Mexican uh, treat. <laughs> 
No, not a churro. Jeez. Oh well. <laughs> I saw that. That's what I thought you said. It's like churro. That's a kind of a uh, not very threatening villain name. <laughs> no. I have uh, to fight his his sub boss. Oh. Kind of cupcake. But we're not we're not going over to the misty woods just yet, because there's uh something below us. Oh. Ooh. And here's yeah, enemies. Here's the second form of that enemy, who has oh, okay much more health and much better aim. The, do they? Uh, do the bullets track uh, you? Uh, they, like in a manner of speaking, they're not they're not homing or anything, but they okay. uh, they're like these guys in particular are far better at leading than the other ones are. Yeah. Um. So they have a much easier time hitting you when you're like jumping around in the air. Also, I'm just taking a lot of sucker punches that I really should not have been. Yeah, you're nearly dead. <laughs> Wait, so does that number one at the bottom indicate how much hits you can take? No, the that's the upgrade, uh, like experience bar. Okay. The the green orbs are life. Yeah, that, I thought I thought you had a two health points thing indicator. I thought it would be weird. <laughs> nope, the number in the middle of the screen is the part of the experience bar. And we're, uh, we're kind of stuck down here now, so we have to figure out how to climb our way back up to the Misty Woods. But, um, let's see if we can get up. Oh. Come, come, come on. Can, a fancy colored orb. Come on. Yeah, I want to... Oh. Uh, no. Can't quite grab onto that I need, I need it for my rave party later. Yeah. Could you have only gone to this area if you dropped down? Uh, yes. Because okay. that that little wooden block we just opened was shut. Because mm -hmm. it leads back to uh, back to here. And, um, we'll actually be, we will be going back to uh, where we just opened that little wooden door later. So you can get that fancy colored orb. That too, but because it leads to the, the dungeon we eventually have to go to. Okay. But right now, we're going into the Misty Woods. Oh, Is he going to make it? Yeah, of course he is. I didn't expect that. We can float very gracefully. So this is kind of a mini dungeon, in a way. Okay. Is there an escape sequence? No. Which is why I say it's like a mini dungeon. It's um, because it it functions as a very distinct section of the game, uh, which is a very tricky section of the game. Yeah, I'm I'm getting loads of distortions in the, <laughs> in the trees. Oh yeah. It's called the Misty Woods for a reason. So we have this lantern here on this uh, pedestal. Find uh, a way to light it. Yeah, we need to uh, we need to find an item so that we can kind of make it start working again. Because right now we're basically in the Lost Woods from Legend of Zelda. Okay. And uh, we don't want to be stuck in the Lost Ooh. Woods. You got faces in those trees. Mm -hmm. What is this? Mortal Kombat? Mm. No, it's um. Snow White. <laughs> I never saw Star Wars Snow White. Really? Jeez, I always, man, I always feel weird when I talk to people who did. Dude, watch that movie like, was made in like the twenties. It's a Disney movie. Who doesn't watch Disney movies? Okay, like, I meant in the sense of like, okay, me and my little sister were gonna watch it, and then we were put off by how old it looked, and it's like, this doesn't look very good, and so <laughs> we just we didn't really watch something else. Yeah, it's a Disney movie. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, whatever. I always feel weird it, it has a very uncanny feeling with the uh, animation in that movie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's, there's still classics. Hey, man, the only uh, Disney films I watch is, like, good Pixar ones. <laughs> 
I say good ones because there needs to be a distinction there. You know, I don't. I I've only I've only seen the first Cars movie, not anything else. I was actually specifically going to use what you you didn't love Cars two. No, I didn't watch it because I knew it was crap. Or planes, or planes <sighs> two, or whatever whatever there is in that franchise that's just there to sell toys. I didn't think they made more. What? I I think I think there's planes too. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. But now we notice that the uh, the path has changed. Yes. That's um. That's kind of what happens here. Uh, the um. The route does not like to stay the same as your uh, kind of oops, oops as your kind. Of are we going to be um, traveling through any tree trunks that's taking us back to the initial location? No. Oh, that's nothing like the Lost Woods, man. <laughs> I was really annoyed, actually, because there, where I um, where I put down that save point, there's a secret off to the left that you could get at this point in the game if you were not dumb like me and didn't kill the enemy that was in that little area. But right. I was I had I had died many many times while trying to record this. Uh, by the point I got this particular recording, so I was like, whatever, I don't care. Is this the uh, darker location that uh, you mentioned earlier? This is one of them, yeah. One of them. Oh no, there's more than one. Uh, uh. Man, that that feather is really useful, boy. Yeah. Good thing, good thing that villain gave it to us. Yeah. It's a good thing we knocked it off of uh, her back by dropping a rock on her head. Is is Churro also a a female? Yeah, I'm pretty sure because we we'll find out in the story beats that um, Kuro is a mother. <gasps> or at least a parent, I guess. Is Chiro secretly Ori? I mean, Naru. Um, that, that, Naru, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite. Okay, well, DD looks kind of similar. That would be an odd uh, twist. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, but. I mean, there have been weirder twists. <laughs> well, yeah. Keep in mind that Darth Vader was Luke's father. I mean, you know, not you can't initially. get any more crazy than that. He wasn't initially supposed to be Luke's father, but then they were like, "Oh, well, we have to make sequels to Star Wars." Oh, now. With the, did they ad lib it? Well, no, <laughs> no. It's just that it wasn't like planned. No, in that's the initial, not the line. Uh, yeah, it wasn't planned in the initial like s story development for Star Wars. Or, oh, well, he was just supposed to be a big bad guy. Yeah, based on. Based on rumors that I've read about, at least. Like, the, the, who knows with George Lucas at the helm anymore, but, you know, that's the, mm -hmm. the rumors kind of go that, like, bef until Empire Strikes Back was written, like, Darth Vader was not actually any, like, he didn't have any relation to Luke Skywalker at all. Uh, okay. Would you prefer to that? I don't know. I've never really thought about it, actually. Uh, so we just got another upgrade. Now we can do wall climbing. Climb. Oh, so what's the difference between that and wall jump? We don't. We we can hang onto walls without sliding down them. Oh, okay. Which will come in very, very useful nice. next time. 